Okay, vlog. February 26th, after, I guess, Valentine's Day? Should have bought some of those big-ass plushies, but didn't feel like stocking up on a lot of stuff right now. It is freaking cold because California has an unusual weather pattern, and it's still cold at this office. We've got a heater rolling, got servers rolling, but I am still freaking cold. So, this is... February last week, February 26. Yeah, didn't uh, I guess there was not much of a TRW swap meet. It was kind of soggy, so I'm gonna wait till next month. Hopefully, it'll pick up on the summer. But it's been unusual. Maybe another three to six week. Work's not gonna like it because they need to move the servers next month. So I gotta start planning for that and writing IP maps and all this other stuff. It's not really that hard to do. It just requires me to make sure you've got a good backup because things always break when you move stuff so actually I just had a NAS drive went down so I had to buy some hard drives the smallest you could buy is 4 terabyte impressively so I'm moving all my data to the cloud why? because I plan to be more omnipresent and break down my home rack and turn into a smaller rack so because of the uh, shrinking of that, I've decided that it's more economical for me not to buy hardware. The reason being is they have a three to five year turnaround, but they are a good investment, but they do break and you have to know how to fix them. And I do know how to fix them, but the problem is, do I want to fix them? Probably not so much lately. So I'm moving more towards the cloud in order to free up more time for other projects and ventures as well. Um, I'm getting tired of being blown off by makers and artists, so I hate to say it, but Furry has left me, but I do want to get into UFO Hunters and Ghost Hunters again, so you might start to see me there. I am pretty good at having a voice now, which is something I don't have when you're going on to 40. My hand is sore for some reason. I don't like this as painful. I should go see a psychic. It could be a bad thing, but again, that is there for entertainment. Doctors should look at it. I have some weird sores showing up. I don't know. I've had this once before, and it could be a lack of a cardiovascular or walking around. So I might start walking around a couple of places to check it out. I miss tailing around a lot, but I still have a tail. It's not like I can't wear one. It just doesn't show me, because the one I had had more of the scales to it and had more realistic look to it. So a lot of kids would say, is that real? And in the trans movement, I could easily say I am trans species, but regardless of that, is it real? Well, if you're an adult, you know it's fake, but if you're a kid, you sometimes see things that look very well done. It looks kind of realistic. And I like that magic, but it may be time to move on to the paranormal. It's kind of the stuff I like, and I hate to say it, I'm moving away from libtards. And family's trying to hitch me up with someone, but it's hard to say. I, I don't get the feeling from her. She, Her interest is school, education, college degree, and finances. I like finances because that's how you get financial freedom, but I also like adventures. And a lot of people don't like to do adventures. They like to walk out. They like to have Planned Parenthood. Other than, oops, something happened. We now got a crisis. What can you do with the tools you got? I call it Trumpism, too, because he did a very good job and opened my eyes up to both. You can do both. You can be an adventurer and you can be someone who's actually very eccentric, but this and a loud mouth and still be financially free. I'm not exactly at that stage yet, but when I get my first property, depending on how it goes or one I can afford, will probably put a milestone and depending on how much money and side work I can do um, I'm technically savvy but I am definitely not carpenter savvy don't get me wrong I could nail up walls and I can pick up a hammer like anyone else do I want to probably not do it if I ever have to I probably will it's not one of those things that I want to get into but if there are people in a friendly we can exchange goods and services I'd rather do that because then you can work better what you're skilled at rather than working what's best. Right now, picking up a hammer is opportunity. Fixing a computer is not. I rarely get any requests to fix a computer anymore. 
just like I did back in 2014 and only picked up in 2017 again because we didn't have the uh, L non English speaking people. Um, but right now, with more money in the system, inflation killing everything, and heavy traffic, but I go to the stores, no one's there. I mean, okay, grocery stores and dollar stores are all packed, but um, it's like no one is buying entertainment. I'm seeing more entertainment businesses and artists is popping up, but artists want so much for their piece. Yeah, I understand $300 for a canvas. I'd love to have it, but I got no place to put it. Digital arts, $50 to $100, that's fine. But in my opinion, it's just going south. So we'll see how well my store runs. I'm going to let it run for until next quarter. Q2 is my goal. And uh, if stuff sells and I get to knock some stuff off, great. If not, I'll have some boxes to hide away in storage. And I'm going to start going through storage fees. Um, developing pins again and that could be a lack of iron again so I hate to say I'm fasting but McDonald's diet ain't helping so I need something with sugar I think I have a sugar low but anyhow uh, that's six minutes that's my life updates this is January no February 26 2023 and I'm amazingly still alive and half of the people I know are gone now the things I'm losing every day including data. I'm actually going through my data. I've got two or three terabytes to sort through, but as soon as I get them due, get them backed up really well, get my data center all fixed up, we should be good to go. Good to go to the next phase of my life. Bye!